So let's take a look which of these fractions is larger, 3 eighths or 3 sixteenths. So the first way you could do this is just take a calculator, divide 3 by 8, get your decimal, divide 3 by 16, get a decimal, and compare them. See whether 3 eighths is larger than 3 sixteenths. The other way when we're looking at this, we should note that we have the same numerator here. Since we have the same numerator, that means that we can just compare the denominators. And think of it this way. We have 3 and we have 8 going into 3. That'll give us a decimal because 3 is smaller than 8. Since we put 16 into 3, we're going to get an even smaller decimal. So 3 sixteenths is the smaller number. 3 eighths is the larger number. It's greater than 3 sixteenths. The last way we could do this is get a common denominator. We could multiply 8 by 2 because that would give us 16. Down here, we already have 16. So we have a common denominator. Let's move our 3 across, 3 sixteenths. That equals 3 sixteenths. Up here, we multiplied by 2, so we have to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. 2 over 2 is 1. We're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's written. 3 times 2 is 6. And now you can see that 6 is larger than 3. We have the same denominator. So 6 sixteenths is larger than 3 sixteenths. 3 eighths, therefore, is larger than 3 sixteenths. But after a while, you get used to looking at these. You'll note that if the denominator is much bigger in one of these fractions when the numerator is the same, that's going to be a small fraction. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.